This chapter is over an hour and 16 minutes long, but I do think it's interesting as speculation. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. I won't put a whole bunch of comments on it, but I will point out things that are similar uh, so that maybe it might make some sense. Uh, but uh, there won't be any other comments. Okay. Anyway, uh, Coleman Bible, Book 5, Chapter 34. It seems to cover the whole 18th dynasty. And the 18th dynasty is classified as the first dynasty of the New Kingdom period. It boasts several of Egypt's most famous pharaohs, including Tutankhamun, uh, the Thutmosed dynasty for the four pharaohs named Thutmose. Its famous pharaohs of that dynasty include Hepshetset, Akhenaten, his queen, Nefertiti, and then there was King Nefenfraten, uh, which I assume they believe is the iconic Queen Nefertiti. M-A-N, 34-48, Pharaoh took her to wife, but he showed her little affection. Though she was not a beautiful, even if with a beauty not of this land, nevertheless, in the eyes of the people, the marriage appeared successful enough. Though perhaps the outward display of affection was overdone, still, the queen, being more frail than Egyptian woman, could bear only daughters. There is another reason for this, but it cannot be gone into here with propriety. It is something between women. Things were not as they appeared, and the fair despised the king in her heart for his secret wickedness.